heal today. Welcome to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Hello and welcome to Love Never Dies. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf, founder of AskDrLove.com, the web's first relationship advice site since 1995, and author of the number one international bestseller, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased, that's been translated into 34 languages. So I have a question for you. Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling stuck? Well, did you know that saying hello to your soul very well may be the solution to your pain? I'm very excited to introduce to you today my wonderful guest, Gerard Armand Powell. He's a leading conscious entrepreneur, thought leader, philanthropist, and public speaker whose mission it is to to transform lives. Gerard's the founder of Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica. That's the go-to facility for a spiritually awakening vacation experience that combines first-class amenities, organic farm-to-table meals, world-renowned specialists, all under one roof. And some of the transformational modalities offered at Rhythmia are The Answer Is You with Michael Beckwith, Dead Sea Cleanses, Hydrotherapy Colonic Cleanses, The Answer Is uh, oh, I said the answer is you, Shiva Ray, yoga, and plant medicine. Now, Gerard's also founded Truthonomics. It's an online program teaching the skills and insights essential to living a life of manifestation. And you're going to hear more about how his early business life began with great miracles. While he was still in his 20s back in 1991, he, was, he created a consummate deal that netted him more than a million dollars. He went on to build multiple companies such as ThatLook.com, and he ultimately netted $150 million. He's had all kinds of awards. He achieved the American dream, but something was missing. He was empty. He was miserable. And one night, he had a powerful encounter with plant medicine, and from that moment on, his existence transformed. And he was liberated from his lifetime of suffering. And this life-altering experience led Gerard to create Rhythmia, where he could offer at an affordable price to as many people as possible that same healing transformation that he experienced and all the modalities that helped him to experience his transformation. So actually, Rhythmia's and Gerard's story are featured in a newly released documentary called The Reality of Truth. And in that film, there are conversations with many of today's thought leaders like Joel Osteen and Deepak Chopra and Marianne Williamson and Hollywood stars like Peter Coyote and Michelle Rodriguez. So Gerard is now on a mission. He's the leader in a growing conscious business movement that recognizes the profound importance of personal healing and spiritual transformation as integral to our lives. And he speaks to audiences and organizations. He, he's wonderful. So I, I don't even want to tell you any more because it will take me the whole show to tell you all about Gerard. I'd rather just let him come on air and let you discover his wonders for yourself. Gerard, are you with me? Uh, hi, Doctor. Thank you. That was awfully nice. I'm sorry. Well, you know, it's so funny when you hear your own bio. You, you know, your ego gets so puffed up, you're thinking, wait a minute, yeah. is this me? <laughs> is, that, is any of that true? <laughs> is this me? You know, because that's part of being evolved, you know, that you become more and more humble to the point that you don't even have an ego. So then is it weird hearing, <laughs> hearing your yeah, bio? It's weird. Yeah. it's weird. It sounds, uh, it sounds much... Uh, much happier than it was. I know. I think think a a great place for us to start in our conversation because we're just really getting to know each other today for the first time. I think it would be really awesome if you would tell everybody about the dark night of your soul because we've all had it. A lot of people listening now are in it. So perhaps you could share yours. Sure, absolutely. So I was... uh, you know, I was brought up in a little bit of a, a violent household. Uh, mm. I, I didn't do good in school. I ended up getting kicked out of uh, the schools that I was in. I didn't graduate high school. And I started in business in my, in my teens. And, and by the time my 20s came around, I, uh, I managed to save a million dollars. And I bought my first airplane just while I was still in my 20s. In my 30s, I took a company public. I had about $140 million in net worth. I went broke. 
uh, in the dot-com crash and, and started uh, another company when I was 38, and I sold that company when I was 42 for about $94 million in cash, and then I quit, I quit work. Um, but during that time, I became, uh, from when I was a kid to, to my 40s, I became a real, real jerk. I mean, a world-class jerk. I was an alcoholic. I was a sex addict. I was a cocaine addict. I was uh, a really abusive person. I was brought up in a, a family where women were hit, and I, I continued the tradition. I was, uh, I was a real, a real, real bad guy. And uh, I was addicted to injectable Demerol. The last company mm. I built was, uh, was the largest plastic surgery company in the world. We had 140 some offices and I had easy access to Demerol and I, I turned into a Demerol addict on top of everything else. And uh, in, in all honesty, I, I, uh, I had all this money at the time. I had about 70 million bucks in, in, in net like in, of mine. And I tried to commit suicide two times. I was so unhappy with myself. I was, uh, oh. I, I, you know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't understand how, uh, how I would see people who were happy and they, they didn't look like they had anything to me. They looked like they were losers in life and, and yet they were happy and, and, and I, I didn't understand it. And I was, I had these two young kids. They were great kids and, and I was, uh, I was suicidal, and, and fortunately, I wasn't good at committing suicide. <laughs> if I was, I wouldn't be here. But right. uh, you know, it didn't work, and and that started, you know, at 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 forty some. That started my quest uh, to find out what was wrong with me. Why why was I apparently so different than other people, and and why was I so sad in, 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 in the face of having all of these things. I had a, I had a couple airplanes and tons of cars and all kinds of junk, beautiful houses, really beautiful houses. And, and I had a beautiful wife and kids and, and I was, I was just, I was the unhappiest man that I knew. But you know, the thing is, Gerard, the, the start that you had with so much abuse and abandonment, creates yes. such a vacuum inside the soul. It, it, it's inevitable yes. that you would, of course, have fallen prey. You know, I felt sad when you called yourself a jerk because it, it, I cringed. I really because was, you, you, But no, you were damaged. And it is so understandable yeah. that you would have fallen prey to any kind of substance to try to numb your pain, that horrible, gaping, empty hole where you didn't feel loved. Yeah. And I, I really, I feel so strongly about you never saying again that you were a jerk because then you have the voice of the abusive parent heaping down on uh -huh. yourself in your own self-talk. So promise me you won't say that anymore to yourself. Uh, I hear that, <laughs> but, but, but I hear what you're saying, but I want to tell you, I've gone through such things, and I'll, I'll tell you, like, the craziest of things, and, and I made an agreement with Spirit to tell the truth about that, and in that moment, yes, I was a jerk. I was a huge jerk. Uh, and that's just the truth. It's like I could, I could sugarcoat it and I could give you reasons why. No, 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 no. I, 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 I get what you're truth. saying. I get what you're uh, saying. Here, this is a really important nuance because we can tell the truth without being mean to ourselves and call ourselves names. Uh -huh. but that's yeah. all I'm saying. The behavior was totally unacceptable. It wasn't healthy. All of that, yes. Totally unacceptable. But you were not totally. a jerk. Your behavior was crazy. Okay. It came yeah. out of your my, trauma. My behavior, I get it. The outpicturing of it was that. So, yeah. so, but the internal thing was something completely different. And, and yeah. it drove me down a road where, where I actually uh, I checked myself into a rehab center in Malibu, California and... And during my time at that rehab center, I was exposed to, to Michael Beckwith at Agape, and, and I heard something new. I never heard anything like that. What did you hear that started to open you up? Because I know that was a beginning for you, but it didn't fully you it know, really heal you. Was. But what yeah. did you hear no. that opened you? Well, I heard something that was shockingly upsetting to me. He, in one of his talks, he said that there was the possibility that God was a woman. And, and where, <laughs> where I was from, it was so, it rattled me so much. 
uh-huh. that, that it, 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 it just made me pay more attention to him. And, uh, and I finally got to meet him. And, and uh, although I heard all the words, right, I heard all of his words, and he and I mm-hmm. Im- immediately liked each other and became friends, real friends. And although I heard all the words, I couldn't feel any of it. So, mm-hmm. so he assigned me a, uh, a reverend who worked with me two days a week, and, and I hired a full-time psychiatrist uh, to work with me five days a week, eight hours a day, and I was in that kind of care for five mm-hmm. more years. Wow. So I was seven days in therapy, and, uh, you know, I didn't work because I didn't have to work, you know, so I, I would do this, but I still, I still was a drunk, a womanizer, uh, a kind of guy that, that you just wouldn't want to be around. My energy was super bad, um, mm. and it's just the truth. It's just what I was. It's, it's not, I'm not making an opinion over it. These, I'm again, were your behaviors. Over. You were in pain. Right. You were in a lot of pain, yeah. and yeah. you know. And the thing is, the pain it was, it was just unbearable, really, from the way you're describing it. Really, it, it really yeah. was. It was. It was in such pain. And I kept asking the the psychologist and the my my counselors. I said, "Is there something? Did something happen to me?" And da da da. They said, "No, and no, no." And like, I just had attachment disorder. Like it was just this. Oh gosh, the label thing. thing. You know, yeah. When, yeah. And it went on and on and on. And, and so uh, finally, I was really near the end of my rope. I was thinking, you know, I invested all this money. I invested at this point now six years in, in, in therapy every day, every single day. Uh, I, I invested six years and I was still drinking and I was still womanizing and I still was super, super unhappy and uh, yeah. uh and, and and I just thought, you know, I'm near the end of my rope, and I'm I'm gonna I'm probably gonna kill myself again. But before I do, I want to take a trip. So so I went to the Philippines, and I was in the Philippines, and I was I was alone, and I was alone in a couples resort because I I got in a fight with my girlfriend before we left LA, and I left her in the airport. So I was I was alone in the Philippines, and I put on Facebook. I said, Oh my God, you know, my life is so terrible, and this and that and this. And a woman whom uh, kind of worked at Passages Malibu, she, was, she had a, a, a loose affiliation with them, saw that I was in the Philippines and she happened to be doing a seven-day no-speak retreat in Cebu. And she said, do you mind if I stop in on you for a couple of days? And I said, sure, because there was nobody, I wasn't doing anything. And when she got there, she said, Jerry, I knew a guy just like you, just like you. And, and he went to this place in Costa Rica, and he did some, some hallucinogenic plant medicine, and he came back a week later, and he was a different guy. And, and I thought to myself, I thought, you know, I tried everything in the world. It's time. No, nothing works. Nothing yeah. works. So, so before I pull the plug on myself, let me go and try this one last thing. And... Uh, and, 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 then, and then the story gets crazy. <laughs> and then I flew, mm-hmm. I flew, I don't know if you have time for it, but I could tell you. I flew Absolutely. Drunk to, I flew drunk to, 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 to Los Angeles all the way from the Philippines. You mean you flew your London. own plane? You were the, you were the pilot? No, no, no. I, I, was a, I, I was on a, a regular airline. Oh, that's and, good. And, all but, right. But, yeah, exactly. And I was drunk and I... I got to L.A. I met my assistant. He gave me new luggage. I just switched luggage and then flew to Costa Rica and uh, landed at this place. Had no idea what I was in for. Uh, went to this rickety old place. Like this place was, it was terrible uh, with, this, with this shaman who was kind of crazy looking. And it was just super weird for me because I, I wasn't used to anything like this. And I took this medicine. They told me to lay down and take this medicine. I took this medicine and... You drank said, it, right? You, know, you drank it. This is actually pills of, of, of oh. bark. They're, they're bark. And, uh, okay. You didn't drink it. You, drank, you took the pills. No, okay. I took the pills. And, uh, and, and the guy said to me, he said, you know, pick up your hand. Like, because they put blindfold on you. You lay down on a mattress. And he said... 
you know, raise your hand when you see something. And I did see something. I saw this like lion or something. I put my hand up and he said, he said, now he started tapping my, his finger on my forehead and I had a blindfold on and he said, tell me when you see my finger. And I couldn't believe it, but all of a sudden I saw this guy's finger and I had a big blindfold on. And I saw right through it and I was seeing through something else. He, he said, fly to the, he said, look up in the, the sky. And now we were in a building and I couldn't see any roof. I just saw the stars. He said, pick a star and jump to it. And I did. And, uh, you know, I was flying in the air. I looked down and I saw my body and his body. Uh, and I was leaving it and I was going in the air and he said, look to your left and do you see the moon? And I said, yeah, he said, fly to the moon. I flew to the moon and I hit the moon and I got a TV screen with a cursor on it. And, and, he, and he said, what, you know, ask the moon your first question. My first question was, what, what's wrong with me? And so I said, Mrs. Moon, what's wrong with me? And she typed out, I can't tell you until you go get your soul. <laughs> so he made me fly back <laughs> To my house. Talk about a soul retrieval. And not only is God a woman, the moon's a woman, too. We're just, you know, kind of for the record. It was yeah. crazy, right? It was just so So crazy. this woman tells you, dude, you need to retrieve your soul before I can get back with you. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and I go back and I convince myself. I fly to Malibu, California, and I, I find myself, and it's as clear as day. This is really, really happening. And I go and I find myself in my house and I convince myself to come and to help me. But, but uh, my soul said to me, the me, the other me said to me that it would only help me if I promised to take it with me for the rest of my life and that to run every decision I ever make by it. And if we're in conflict, I have to, I have to agree to do what my soul said or it wouldn't help me. So I agreed to all that stuff. And then, uh, Can I just say one thing to you here? Sure. This is an example, really, of an amazingly profound reparenting of yourself. Because when you are abused and abandoned in your first family, you don't even know how to love yourself. And by you connecting in this way, the first thing is you may never abandon your soul again. You know? Right. The universe, the, the mother... You know, with teaching you, you must promise to always hold yourself. Speaking of hold yourself, can I just ask you one thing? We have callers on the line. Would you like to pause the story? We can come back. Would you like to have a little chat? I thought it would be kind of neat. So, Bob, would you please put the first caller online so we can uh, have a little chat? Hello? Hi. What's your name, please? Hi, my name is Carla. Carla. Hi, Carla. So did you have a question for me or for Gerard or a comment? Um, you know, I, I don't really know why um, I'm calling in today. I just, uh, <laughs> I just felt guided to dial your number. I've never heard the show. Um, and I'm intrigued with what you're saying. And... I'm on a on a soul journey right now. I just recently um, lost my mom. She just transitioned, and um, you know I'm just experiencing a lot of uh, experiencing a lot of uh, grief and letting go and and transformation. And I think I'm just um, open to wherever answers, looking for clarity in my life and direction. Uh, and I'm just looking for you know. I, th- oh, well, I, I'm glad I, I don't know. I'm, just I'm glad you listening. called in and said hello. It sounds like probably Gerard and I will speak a bit later about the workshop I'm going to be doing at Arrhythmia. It sounds like my workshop is calling to you, so I think that's why you called in. So I'm just going mm-hmm. to say um, au revoir, as they say in France, which means I'll see you soon. <laughs> and okay. nice meeting you. And yeah. um, connect with you, I think, in yeah. Costa Rica. So let mm-hmm. me come back to you, Gerard. Hello. Yep, I think she disconnected herself. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, there she is. So I, I, I was um, releasing that caller so that you could just listen to the show now, and I was asking yeah. Gerard to come back and uh, speak with us more just in the next couple of minutes before we go to break. Sounds good. Go ahead. Can you hear me? 
I hear you. Okay, great. So uh, what what happened next then was crazy. Is that I I got my soul and we flew back to we flew to Scranton, Pennsylvania, to a house that I haven't seen in forty some years. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the, the 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 other me who was flying with me turned into a little boy, and we walked into this house. And I'll make a long story short, but but it was a real video. And I was within the video, and it was in, in real time, uh, as if it were just happening. And it was it's so vivid, more vivid than any, uh, more vivid than real life, even, if, if I can say that. So, oh, yeah. So, and I, wa- and I, watched, uh, I watched this little boy get molested by his grandfather. And I was like, I can't believe that that happened. I said, I don't, I said, I don't believe that happened. And the shaman heard me say that. And he said, what? I said, I, I'm watching myself get molested, and I know that didn't happen. And he said, call your father. I said, my father's been dead for six years. He said, call his name. And they, I called his name, and my dad appeared right there, right there with us. Right. And, uh, and my dad said, don't think you're so special. It happened to me. It happened to you. It's just the way it is. And I said, wow. And, and at that moment, I felt like uh, a little sad, but at the same time, it explained a whole bunch of things. And, and so uh, I then flew back to the moon, and the, the short answer here is that the moon uh, told me that, that she wanted to give me something, and she, she opened my chest cavity, and she actually gave me a brand-new heart. That's right. And, it's like and, open heart surgery. She gave you a heart transplant yeah. for your broken yeah, heart. Like, yeah, right. right there in real time. And then the next day was honestly the first day of my life. And, and I went and I did 45 more of those kinds of journeys and had 450 questions answered. And, and the moon explained to me that this happens to everybody, that everybody leaves their soul between when they're conceived and five years old, and the, the, she explained the reasons behind it, yes. why, why we were designed to do it, and then she gave us a methodology for doing this for other people. So what we have now is... Okay, so wait a minute. I know we're coming to a break. Let everybody hang okay. with that cliffhanger because I know that this is the time when we need to take a break because uh, okay. <laughs> it's that time again. <laughs> and I'll no, be back with you no in a moment on Love Never Dies Radio. Love Never Dies is now on the Dream Vision 7 radio network every Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the number one international best-selling author of Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, tune in and find out how to reconnect and heal any unfinished business using Dr. Turndorf's groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique. Visit AskDrLove.com to find out more. Do you wonder how to bring more vitality, abundance, and celebration into your life? Are you open to discovering a simple and reliable method of deep inquiry and spiritual practice? Join Michael Bernard Beckwith, creator of the Life Visioning Process, this September at Omega Institute. You'll explore profound questions and learn practical techniques that empower you to live a rich, joyful life. Mention discount code DREAM for 10% off when you register for this workshop with Michael Bernard Beckwith. Learn more at eomega.org. Are you grieving a lost loved one? Did you know that reconnecting is the only way to end the pain? Hi, it's Dr. Jamie Turndorf inviting you to my transformational Love Never Dies workshop October 22 through 29 at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica where I'll guide you to turn off your tears and turn on boundless prosperity in every area of your life. 
Together we'll share mouth-watering farm-to-table organic meals as we surrender to the caress of tropical sea breezes, sensual Swedish massages, muscle-melting whirlpools, Dead Sea mud baths, mind-expanding Shiva Ray yoga, the answer is you classes by Reverend Beckwith, breathwork, hydrocolonic cleanses, and plant medicine. Join me and be liberated from a sense of separation and sink into a sea of love, peace, healing, and unity. For more information and to register, visit rhythmia.link slash turndorf event. That's rhythmia.link slash turndorf event. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you yearn to get along better with your life partner or spouse, friends, family members, and even co-workers, Dr. Turndorf's book, Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship shows you how to turn conflict into connection for a lifetime of lasting love. Find out more about Kiss Your Fights Goodbye at AskDrLove.com. This is Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. This show is for you, the listener. Once again, here's Dr. Turndorf. Welcome back to Love Never Dies Radio. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf. I'm having a fascinating discussion with Gerard Powell. Gerard, it's so unnatural to have to break because you were right at a real key point. That's okay. <laughs> you know? That's uh, right. you, so you, you were at the key point where it was clear that your newly delivered heart and transformational healing was being given to you with a mandate to bring this to the world. That's pretty much where we stopped, right? Yes, yes. And that's exactly what happened. I did, I did uh, 45 more of these types of journeys, and, uh, and we, had, you know, we just got all the detail of how to do this for other people. And, and it's amazing. You know, we've, we've seen you know, over 1,000 people here, and, and 94.75% of them have the exact same experience where they get they see who they become, but they have to be honest about that because your soul doesn't want to remerge with you until you're aware of what you become. And then, and then we merge them back with their soul and get them a new heart during their stay. And what's crazy is because this, this is all done here and it's all done within a week, just exactly the same thing that happened to me. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the, the funny thing with this is because it's done – uh, it's done on medicine. It, it really sticks. It's a soul agreement that sticks, and it changes people's lives. And we're just, uh, and this is what we're doing with our lives now. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it it seems to me that you're literally rearranging the DNA. That's what the plant medicine does. We believe that. Yeah, I believe that believe too. That. You know, yeah. also too, when you talk about your soul needing to be retrieved, it's my understanding that. Do you know when, when someone suffers a tremendous violation, for example, when someone is sexually violated, people describe uh-huh. this experience of being outside the, out of the body, looking down upon the event. It's like you've uh-huh. left your body. You know, in shrink yeah. world, they call it depersonalization or detachment, but literally it's like right. the soul splinters off from the body. So when you receive the message from the moon mother that everyone leaves his or her body, or that everyone's soul exits the body, well, the piece that, that makes us leave is a trauma. It's like, I'm out right. of here. This hurts too much. You know, it's right. like a psychological sibyl. You know, I'm just, yeah. when, you know, when we get a, um, a multiple personality, it's the same kind of thing. I'm going to fracture off uh-huh. and be somebody else, be in another personality. It's the same mechanism. I'm so hurt. I'm leaving. My soul is out uh-huh. of here. That's really what happens. And what you're doing is reuniting people with the pure part of the soul before you were injured. Yes. And here's the thing, Doc. I... I thought that it only happened to some people, and the moon explained it to me. She said that it happens to everyone, and right. most people splinter off because they didn't get fed on time. It's, it's like uh, it's, it doesn't it's, take a lot. It doesn't take a lot, and then, and then they spend their life, you know, this, the fractured person, the person that's, that, that you leave to become, becomes the doctor, the lawyer, the Indian chief, the ditch digger, the, whoever right. that becomes. Uh, you know, did that in an effort to, to find safety. But because this split happened, she explained to me that all disease, all disorder, all sadness, all comes from a result of that split. 
Absolutely. And, and the soul, the soul yearning to be back in the game. And, yes. and this process that we have here, I can't wait for you to see it, and I can't wait for your, for your workshop here. Because uh, when you see this happening, uh, it's just amazing. It's, it's truly amazing. I, I do you, not... you, you realize, Gerard, you and I have the same soul calling because, you know, I, I was... That. I was born three months early, and I was only Aww. two pounds, and I spent the first three months in a preemie nursery. So talk Aww. about your soul splitting off. So I'm oh alone for the first three months, right? And then I come home to be verbally and physically beaten my whole life. Now, Aww. it's so amazing, Gerard, that um, a psychic told me when you were in the preemie nursery, you decided that you were going to make it your life's mission to connect souls because you didn't want that. anybody else to suffer the pain of disconnection that you felt. And so you see how similar you and I are in our mission, right? Oh, my God. How crazy. Yes. Right? Amazing. It's Amazing. very much the same. So here, now think about it. You know, my story where uh, my husband, I had seen him as a premonition from the time I was a little girl. I saw his wow. face and his body, so I said, I am not going to date. I'm going to wait till this man appears. This and he, he, he <laughs> appears on the first day of my freshman year, and basically, you know, we're inseparable for almost 30 years. Now, wow. I believe this wholeheartedly. You know, when, I hope you're going to be down in Costa Rica. Will you be down there for my, my week? In, in, yes. Uh, excellent. So you're going to be able to really get immersed in what I'm talking about. But it's so Absolutely. similar to your story. But this is the thing that amazes me. If I hadn't had such a terrible family, I and the the soul pact between me and my husband was that the minute he left his body, he was going to show me how to help people reconnect to their loved ones in spirit wow. and heal wow. unfinished business. And I wouldn't have even reached for spirit in such a profound way had I not had such an awful upbringing and such an incredible love bond with him. That is our ministry and calling to now help people oh, nice. reconnect to their souls and find self-love by reconnecting with loved ones in spirit who harm them. And now we dialogue with them and we help them heal unfinished business with whoever is in spirit. And we're doing the same. I mean, it's, it's so mind boggling, <laughs> right? That's crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. wonderful. That yeah. is wonderful. Yeah, but so and I, I can't even wait to see how my work combines with the plant medicine because we are really reconnecting the soul back to source, healing the, the fragment itself, the fragmented relationship. It's going to be amazing with the plants, you know, combined. Amazing, really mm -hmm. amazing. I yeah. mean, mm -hmm. amazing. I can't wait for that. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, would, I, I, almost, I feel so moved to... To real tears, you know, as you know, I shared that little bit with you, and I see. I love that. I know <laughs> we were like soul brothers, and well, I'm a, I got to be a soul sister, you know, because I don't have the parts, you know. But <laughs> 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 so, so are you? But you're not always in Costa Rica, right? You're you're there sometimes, but you're going to be there for my week. Yeah. Well, I'm. I, I actually. Uh, you know, I, 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 I so, you know, I've gotten to the point where, like, I sold everything I had. I had a beautiful house in Malibu. I sold that. I sold my Rolls Royce. I sold all my cars. I sold, I sold everything and, and immersed myself in this process down here. I, I, our workshop, that your workshop is going to be at the same time as ours, because ours is a weekly uh, workshop, and, and, and so... It just starts everybody out for the week and ends everybody for the week. But that, that happens every week, and I teach it every week, so I'm, oh. I'm here the whole time, you know, and this is what oh. I love doing. Yeah. It's really your, your soul work now, yeah, literally, S-O-U-L and S-O-L-E. Get it? <laughs> I like that. I like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's and your soul so purpose. Right. Yay. You're yeah. so right. So, and am I correct? You married recently, right? You married Brandy? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I married Brandy. Come on, Dr. Uh, Love's got to hear the juice on that, you know? <laughs> I met her. I met her two weeks after I did plant medicine. And, uh, and 
And so I was already a different person. I, was, uh, right. I wasn't the person that I had been. And, uh, you know, it's been the, the most uh, beautiful relationship I've ever had in my life. So, so oh. it's, it's great. She's, she lives in California, though, and we're, we're splitting time. You know, she's down here when she can be. Uh, she's a great, uh, great speaker and a great shaman. She's a, a great medicine provider and healer. Uh, so, like, we love doing these, these things, and, and we're really doing it. And I, I'm going to tell you, Jane, when I, when I did make money, I used yeah. to make 20 million bucks a year. Not gross, like net. I would make 20 million. I don't miss making money at all. Like, yeah, of course. Having fun for the first time in my life. I'm really, this is so much fun. Uh, I can't tell you. Like, you know what I'm hearing is, you know, Gerard, this is a ministry for you, but you know how my yeah. husband was a very famous Jesuit. He taught at the Vatican, but he was a monk, ah. so he had to take the vow of chastity, poverty, and obedience. Right. So here you are voluntarily uh, <laughs> doing the poverty uh, vow, but at least you're married, so you don't have the chastity <laughs> thing. So you've got the best of everything. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I kind of right? feel <laughs> right? That's like you. So you're fully immersed in your body. You don't have to do that, you know, chastity thing, which I think that, that that's wonderful. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, I, I love I love doing it. And the thing is, you know, I, I said that I don't get paid, but I get paid more than I've ever been oh, paid in my life. And priceless, when right? When you get to see these people, and I mean really, you see these people and 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 they have this same miracle. And they leave here crying. This is the thing. Everybody leaves here crying. And they, they came for a vacation. And they got this instead. And they're like, they can't believe it. And they couldn't, everybody yeah. believed it couldn't happen to them that, that, that there is no such thing as a, a stake in the road, a turning point. But there is, and when they experience it, they're just on fire. Uh, oh, yes. And I bet that. they go I mean, into, they change their lives. They change their career paths, everything. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's right. So change that happens. It's crazy. I know. So, you know, we have another caller online. I'm trying to see whether, well, Bob, please put the next caller through and um, we'll see if we can make it before the next break. My call, is my <clears throat> caller with me? Hello? Hello. What's your name, please? This is Keith. Hey, Keith. Welcome to Love Never Dies. How are you? How are you? Nice Thank to hear you. from you. Oh, I'm so, doing great. I'm so excited. Yeah? yeah actually, I've been following. Um, I'm so enamored with Rhythmia. I'm, yeah. I'm really, uh, it speaks to me so, so clearly as far as where I'm at in my life. And, and uh, so I'm really working hard to get down there. I'm, I kind of have a, a hope to get down there in November. You're not going to come to my workshop because my mine's is, October 22nd. Mine is October 22nd through 29th. That's when you want to come so that you can meet me as well. And Absolutely. I'll be spending a week helping everyone. You know, I guess maybe in the last segment we can talk more, Gerard, about what we're going to be doing during my workshop. Fantastic. Um, that would be awesome, right? So you, basically what we're going to do during mine, in addition to all the other beautiful modalities that Rhythmia brings, I'm going to be doing a workshop every day for uh, two hours. And in these segments, the first one I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about my story. Then I'm going to be helping you overcome all the false beliefs and all the false religious teachings that block people from reconnecting. Then I'm going to help uh -huh. you recognize the signs of spirit presence in your life because most people don't even know that their loved ones are banging on their doors all the time. And so I'm going to help you recognize the signs, right? And then I'm going to show you how to bring the signs to life and use them along with human and animal open vessels and how to use earthly props, which are electronic devices, to talk back wow. and forth. And then I'm going to show you how to establish what I call a direct dialogue, where I put you into a trance and you have a direct conversation with your loved and your hated ones in spirit, and I help you talk okay. back and forth till you heal your unfinished business. So that's a sort of a brief overview. Amazing. 
And yes, I, I love think that electronic part. <laughs> I love, I'm oh, that is wo- oh, dude, you're not going to land when we. <laughs> so, oh, I, I love hope that. did is my Pennsylvania caller with me still, or did we lose you? Did you just? Yeah, I'm still and, here. No, I'm you're still here because I thought I might have put you into another realm. You know. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a wonderful, wonderful workshop. Yeah, I've oh, done you, a lot of work on the subconscious, yeah. you know, and I've done, you know, I've been trying to under, understand how our beliefs and, you know, basically how we get disconnected, like Jerry and you have been saying. Yeah. I've tried, you know, I've become a facilitator in different modalities to try to cool. address the subconscious mind and psyche and emotional, uh, uh-huh. um, uh, emotion code with um, trapped emotions, and I still get stuck. You're stuck. And I, dis- yeah. I discovered Jerry. I've been listening to Jerry every Saturday. I've talked to Jordan down there, and I'm trying to get Fantastic. my life to where I can get down there. I take care of my dad who's got Alzheimer's, and he just getting full-time help now. And Let me tell you, here's he's, another he's little thing to know addiction. about your dad. He's not even in mm-hmm. your body, his body anymore, uh-huh. believe no, it or I not. I see that. I'm with him. Yes, he's already in spirit. For- mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. that, that's comforting. I can feel yeah. that. Yeah, and I actually yeah, I help that. people to dialogue with their loved ones who have Alzheimer's and are literally, no, the soul isn't in the body anymore. And so you could actually uh-huh. connect to him better in Costa Rica where we're dialoguing uh-huh. than even when oh, you're with absolutely. his physical body. I know it's yeah, I've got to find a way to get there. I'm working you on You get that. there, dude, and we'll see you. It'll be I'm awesome to see business. you. Yeah. And congratulations on all the work you're doing. Get me there. Yeah, yeah. you're doing you. a lot of great Thank work. You. You're really on the path, and I know Jerry and I will be glad to see you there. See right, you. We'll be back in a sec. Be back on in a second. The most important thing. Yeah. Love Never Dies is now on the Dream Vision 7 radio network every Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the number one international best-selling author of Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, tune in and find out how to reconnect and heal any unfinished business using Dr. Turndorf's groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique. Visit AskDrLove.com to find out more. If you can't stop grieving over the loss of someone you love, the reason is surprisingly simple. You aren't meant to be separated from those you love. And reconnecting and staying connected is the only way to turn off the tears and transform your grief to joy. For a healing transformation like nothing you've ever experienced before, join Dr. Jamie Turndorf for her Rhythmia Costa Rica workshop, Love Never Dies. How to reconnect and make peace with your lost loved one based on her number one international best-selling Hay House book, Love Never Dies. How to reconnect and make peace with the deceased in 34 languages. Reconnect and dissolve the pain of grief. Heal any unfinished business. Obtain guidance from loved ones in spirit and discover boundless prosperity in every aspect of your life. For more information and to register today for the transformation vacation of a lifetime, visit AskDrLove.com slash live events. That's AskDrLove.com slash live events. Do you wonder how to bring more vitality, abundance, and celebration into your life? Are you open to discovering a simple and reliable method of deep inquiry and spiritual practice? Join Michael Bernard Beckwith, creator of the Life Visioning Process, this September at Omega Institute. You'll explore profound questions and learn practical techniques that empower you to live a rich, joyful life. Mention discount code DREAM for 10% off when you register for this workshop with Michael Bernard Beckwith. Learn more at eomega.org. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. 
If you can't stop crying over the bodily loss of a loved one, Dr. Turndorf's number one international bestseller, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased, will show you how to toss out the tissues and transform your grief into joy using her groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique that enables you to reconnect and even heal unfinished business with those in spirit without the assistance of a medium, channeler, or psychic. Sign up for Dr. Love's free newsletter at AskDrLove.com and receive an exciting gift, a free excerpt of Love Never Dies. And now, back to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Hello again and welcome back to Love Never Dies Radio. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf talking with my brother from another mother, (laughs) Richard (laughs) Hart. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh man! You know, did I tell you that I channeled um, something that I've been using in the promos for my Rhythmia event to describe Rhythmia? It's the transform- transformation vacation destination. I like that. Like you can that. use it. It's all right. And guess what? <laughs> I won't charge you anything for it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. So, now, let me just be like the uh, the voice of the fears, right? Because I know there are certain fears people have, right, about oh plant God, medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any pe- – do you, do you find there are certain people who shouldn't do the plant medicine? Yeah, if you have a pre-existing heart condition, that's, that's something that, that you shouldn't really do. Uh, what's, what's pretty cool for us here, though, is that we have – you know, we have four journey nights, that's four ceremony nights, but we also have two, two nights of transformational breath work. And the breath work is as hallucinogenic as the, as the plant medicine, the way that we do it. It's a, oh, uh, isn't that wonderful. Different type of breath work. Yeah, so that's even if important. you can't yeah. use the plants, yeah, it's super important. And, and uh, the biggest fear people have, is seeing themselves. It's always the biggest fear. It's, it, it can now picture itself as, oh, I'm afraid I might throw up or da da da. But the real fear is, is seeing themselves. And it takes, you know, it takes a special person to, to be brave enough to, to want to see themselves. And that's the, the people who we attract are, are people that, that have, have considered it and have said it's worth seeing who I become. In order to get these other benefits, right? And, you attract uh, soul warriors. Yes. Yeah, very true. That's so, it. so true. You don't know how true that is. The, uh, I, I just the, got that message, yeah. Uh, soul the moon warriors. moon typed out. That's the moon typed us that there's only two types. of There's light workers and light warriors, and that's the only type of people that we would attract, and they come here to realize who they become, to merge back with their soul, and to receive a new heart, and that's the the, the thing, and, and that's what we're doing. We're oh we're a soul yes. factory. It's a crazy place. yes. The soul. It's a soul <laughs> repair factory. Yeah, it is. It is. It's it a really soul is. repair factory. If I only had a heart. If I only had a brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true, though. That's so right? crazy. Yeah, yeah, it does. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, I got chills because obviously. Everything what you're saying is so true, then I'm just filled with chills. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely true. And you know, it's funny too. All roads lead to home. <laughs> home being source, <laughs> right? Very true. Right? Oh my God, you're right. Right. So we're all, we're all trying to come back to source. And so my path in through putting you into the trance and helping you reconnect with your loved ones in source who are one with God, Yahweh, spirit, whatever you want to call it. And I say that reconnecting to our loved ones in spirit is our fast track to self-love. Because we, our loved ones in spirit, being one with source, they are now love. They see how they messed up with us. They see what we need to heal. And when we reconnect with them and we allow them to fill every corner of our souls with love, we now become an overflowing well of love through this reconnection, and now we can bring that love to the world. Uh, I love that. <laughs> and that's what you're doing Very, for yeah. people. That's exactly this. You're doing it through the path of the plants. Yeah, we and the feel breath. that we are. 
Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I, I'm sure people have, oh, just, I, I've read the beautiful reviews about Rhythmia all over the web and the transformation. And I know, you know John Gray, Mars Venus, he was on my show, and I saw that right after he was on my show, he came to Rhythmia. And I think yeah. Laura said that it was the best experience, the best vacation he'd ever had. Meanwhile, he was running a workshop, and he booked another, yeah. you know, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he, he loved a great it. guy. Yeah, he's yeah so, so many people like what's so wonderful. We have these beautiful thought leaders who come here, yeah. and um, and and they experience the same miracle. Like yes. while they're here, they yes. they have the same thing. So it's shared. It's uh, it's this it's this it's just this crazy thing, and it and it happens. And uh, I'm so excited because because you're gonna love it, here, Jamie. You're really gonna love it. Are you gonna? I know. You're gonna love it. And, you know what and I didn't you're, tell you, you're Gerard? Pampered too. What's that? I, well, I didn't tell you that. Before I met you guys, my husband started putting in my ear this mantra again and again, Costa Rica, Costa Rica. <laughs> and I had no idea what he was talking about. And then, uh, I, I, then he led Reverend Beckwith to me. Um, I think it was by oh, way cool. of Beck, Beckwith's producer is, was a fan of the Love Never Dies show on Hay House Radio, and she asked me to come on uh-huh. to come on. Um, Michael's show then Michael and uh-huh. I just fell in love and I had him on my show <laughs> and then next thing I know he calls me and he says come to Rhythmia and I said Rhythmia where and he said Costa Rica and then I said oh my goodness so my husband was <laughs> pulling us you know to come down to your place how cool yeah how cool how cool it's yeah, really it's easy to like it's easy to like Reverend Beckwith too he's such a he's such a guy he's so funny isn't that marvelous? Yeah, he's a great guy. So oh why don't God, you yes. t- take everybody through so that people can actually will paint the picture of uh, what a day at Rhythmia is like. How about that? Okay, great. So, uh, you know, that, that uh, on the day that you get here, you'll probably just check in and, and have a, if you come on Sunday, you'll, you'll have a breath class Sunday night. You'll have, uh, you know, farm to table organic food and it's really a matter of fact the, I know the goats who make the goat cheese <laughs> they're from the farm right next to us right <laughs> so it's, it's that close we're contiguous to where the food <sighs> comes from and uh but the, I mean so you, you'd have that then the next day you might get a massage uh in the morning I do a little workshop uh, uh, a class on the week at Rhythmia and then so like at nine from nine to eleven you'd have me and then from one to three, we'd have our beautiful guest speaker, which is you, on a given day. And then that night, you would do uh, a ceremony. And so it, it runs like that every day. And, and in between all this, you get your massages, you get your, your uh, hydrocolonic cleanses, you get uh, <clears throat> our, our, we have volcanic mud and hot and cold mud baths uh, that are here. And the, the mud comes from a volcano that's about 100 miles from here. Uh, and it's this mm. crazy thing that, that happens. So you have, you have the creature comforts. Uh, you know, the, the place is really, really nice. I'm not going to say it's five-star, but it's Costa Rican five-star. It it's, counts as five stars here. It was, uh, well, that's the other thing. It's very reasonably priced because for all the luxuries and all the services, oh God, yes. and it, it would cost thousands a night. But because it's a Costa night. Rica, yeah. the price is reasonable. I think it starts at two ninety nine, all inclusive, yeah. right? Yeah, right. yeah. Like, and so honestly, that's... if this were in the United States, uh, just the ceremonies, just the ceremonies. So, like, if you think about it, the ceremonies would be. Three four hundred a night. Uh, your class oh, would be a, a, a few three five thousand dollars. The room would be three five thousand right. dollars. Uh, right. Like the next thing you know, it's a fifteen thousand dollar week, and here we're doing it for three four and five hundred bucks a night. And it's isn't uh, that awesome? It's yeah, and it's and, and people are getting so much more than they thought they were going to get. So like, and then you can catch the beach where. We're a five-minute bike ride from the beach in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach. Oh. Uh, you'll be the only person on it. It's like a, it's in this 4,500-acre gated community. It's just this, it's just little place of heaven. <clears throat> and and the, the greatest part about it is you get this transformation. I speak to so many people that say, you know, there was my life before 
arrhythmia and then my life after arrhythmia. It's a divining point. Uh, this plant medicine combined with your, these wonderful thought leaders that, that like yourself, when you combine those two things, and you have this enlightenment that happens that's just really, really rare. You know it's what? It's like thing. a spiritual transformation on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it is that. It really or on, is. A, on ayahuasca. So it my, really is. It's, I want everybody to make sure to know how to find you. And we can, of course, give the link to my event too, right? Um, of course. Yeah, so I'm, mine is rhythmia, R-Y-T-H-M-I-A dot link forward slash Turndorf event. Now, for everybody else to find you, just if you would, would give your handles, it's, Facebook, and so uh, on. www.rhythmia.com, R-Y-T-H-M-I-A dot com. And then on Facebook, just look R-Y-T-H-M-I-A, and we're there. So That's pretty much it. That. And you do, I know you do a Facebook Live on Saturday mornings, right? Yeah, I do a Saturday you can catch Facebook you there. Live. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that's you know what? This has been such a great time with you. I've really, really enjoyed Aww. having you. Mm. I love talking with you. You're so sweet. You too. So we're going to just have a really beautiful reunion right around the corner. And um, I'm not going to say goodbye to you. I'll say I'll see you in a few. All right? Sounds great, Doctor. Thank Wonderful. you very much for having me. You, and thank you so much for being such a great guest. See you next time on Love Never Dies Radio. Thank you so much. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Is your heart still hurting over the bodily loss of your loved one? The reason is simple. We're not meant to be separated from those we love. And reconnecting is the only solution. But reconnecting and staying connected requires guidance. That's why Dr. Turndorf has created her exclusive members-only love club a private, intimate, and loving online group where she'll personally guide you to reestablish your relationship with your loved one in spirit and even resolve any issues that remain. If you're ready to discover the healing and joy of reconnecting, visit AskDrLove.com slash The Love Club and apply for a seat. But don't wait. To keep the group intimate, seats are limited. Visit AskDrLove.com slash The Love Club and request to join today. That's AskDrLove.com slash The Love Club. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow.